Hey everybody, how you doing today? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to use the black and white adjustment to create uh, to convert an image to grayscale. So the black and white adjustment is basically just for um, converting your image to grayscale, but you can control how individual colors like red, green, blue, and all the a bunch of other colors how they're converted. Now you can also add a tint, an overall tint to the image if you want to add a little bit of color or something like that. And um, you can also, um, there, there's an auto button on it. I'll go over that. So let's just go um, and apply our black and white adjustment. Go to image, adjustment, and we'll go to black and white, which is here in the middle of the second group here. And you can see now that it has changed the image to a black and white. And these are the default settings here because that's the preset that's selected first. Um, now we have the option to move these uh, different parts and they'll take the RGB, uh, the different channels here and different colors. And you can see in his face area here that um, it's adjusting the amount of uh, darks and lights in the, in the image. So same thing with the blues. Let's see what color his shirt was. I think it was yellow. Yep. So if I start adjusting the yellows, the shirt will probably, yep, the shirt will uh, adjust that way. And you can see when you um, go too far, you get artifacting. And you can see the little squares that are going on in this image. And you obviously don't want that. So if you, if you want to just quickly balance out all the colors, just go ahead and click on Auto over here and it'll balance out the colors for you and it picked like you can see all the different colors in it what this does is it maximizes the, the distribution of the gray values so uh, that's how you use these and then we got the tint down here if we check that we can add an overall tint to the image and this is the, like a sepia tint and then you can adjust the hue down here or you can click on it and pick from a color picker so all that's up to you uh, it's probably just move this out of the way so you can see but I mean you go ahead and pick what you want or whatever <clears throat> and then hit OK and then you can adjust the saturation down here as well if you want more or less so um, that's pretty much all the uh, black and white adjustment is for um, adding a tint overall tint and then being able to adjust the um, the grayscale values based on the colors that were in the original image and um, by using these sliders here. So that's what that's for and it's uh, pretty helpful. It's quick. Um, there is the black and white adjustment on up here somewhere. Here it is. It's got it's got a black square and well it's a gray because it's the background and a white one right here. So it's this one right here and if I, if I cancel out of this and just click on it you can see it brings up basically the same exact thing over here. And you can add your tint and everything like that. So um, that's how you use the uh, black and white adjustment and what it's for. And it's pretty sweet. So thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys in the next tutorial.